What's up, Libra? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to do your uh, weekly messages beginning July 1st, 2024. Libra, I hope all is well. This week, I'm using the Golden Tarot to deliver your messages. And before I begin, I want to wish all those Libras who uh, are into celebrating the 4th of July, may you have a very safe and happy 4th of July celebration. All right, so we're just going to shuffle and cleanse the energies from Dawn Virgo's messages. Not intentionally reading reversals here, and we shall begin. What is the energy for Libra coming up this week? What's in store for Libra? Did anybody watch? Watched the debate last night. Oh my gosh, I, I didn't watch it, but I woke up to see that it was horrible for not only Joe Biden, but for Donald Trump. <laughs> so it was like, uh-uh. Democrats need to do something with Joe Biden because, you know, he, he's up there. He's up there in age and he's slowed. You know, he slowed down. He's, oh my gosh. I just happened to see uh, one of the questions that the... Um, CNN uh, people had asked, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is not happening. This can't be serious. <laughs> but anyway, it is going to be what it's going to be. You guys just have to exercise your right to vote and know that, um, you know, someone has to be, you know, elected. But uh, it all depends on what you want. Okay. All well, depends on what you want to run the country because that shit, I ain't liking none of it. Anyway, let's begin. Let's get off of that because I don't like talking politics. So we're going to start with the Seven of Pentacles here for you, Libra. And this is about, you know, um, working hard, putting in the grind for those coins. It still could be a pay raise coming in, but I also regard the Seven of Pentacles as um, there could be other options that open up in other areas of your life. So always be mindful of that type of energy. On top of the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Strength card. So any obstacles or challenges that you may be dealing with or faced with this week, you're going to overcome them. So the Strength card comes in here to support you. Feeling very courageous, powerful, strong. Uh, Nothing is going to prevent you or stop you from doing whatever it is that you need to do. Or it may be the element of some strength needed for you to, you know tackle something that has been challenging for you in the recent past all right so it's always that great um amount of intensity um it, it could be involving any types of uh, passion sexual energy sexual expression uh, but it's all good strength card major arcana next we have the two of cups here for you libra so this is about those relationships could be specifically talking about uh, Libras who are already uh, in committed partnerships, equal number of cups. So what you give is what you get back. Like mindedness, sharing the same ideas. This could be uh, also the type of energy that unites romantic partners uh, together for the first time. And also to uh, invitations out first dates, first invitations. Following the two of cups here, we have the nine of pentacles. So now being rewarded here, uh, Libra, for something that you've worked hard on. For some of you, it could be involved in your actual work. And then the recognition comes through bonus money, pay raises, and or promotions. If it's outside of that, there's something that you still worked hard on. And now it's time for you to sit back, excuse me, relax, and reap the benefits in the heart, you know, of your hard work and your labor. Now, this is usually the card that I see is spending and splurging. So, but if you have the, you know, the ability to spend money on something luxurious or whatever, don't feel guilty about it because whatever it is that you uh, worked hard on, then you are deserving of that. Like the Seven of Pentacles too. This is also two other options that may open up uh, in other areas of your life. On top of the Nine of Pentacles here, now we have the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords is always those individuals from your past that you have disconnected from, whether or not they were family members, friends, or ex-romantic partners. Somebody could be still lingering around uh, Libra, wanting to um, come back with some more foolishness. Just use your best judgment and discern the, 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 yeah, to know the difference that they're not going to be coming uh, with a clean slate or a clean plate. They're not going to add anything new to your life. Um, so this could be family members. And like I said before, it could be exes. It could be uh, 
platonic friendships that you just cut ties with or whatnot. These people here are very, very uh, into, um, you know, chaos and whatnot and disruption. If it's not that, then it could be that on a material level, then, you know, whatever you thought you lost, put down, thought you escaped you or whatever, that energy always seems to uh, resurface or reappear with the Seven of Swords. Man, we have the Three of Pentacles. Again, this could be a minor pay raise in for some of you. Workplace attraction. It could be uh, collaborating with someone, uh, whether it's, you know, involving the workplace or outside of the workplace. This is usually an achievement, a goal that has been set and you accomplished or achieved that goal. You could also be introduced to somebody new through the uh, energy of the Three of Pentacles. Now, since the energies are going up July 1st on Monday, then by Wednesday, there could be some sort of recognition coming your way, whether it's uh, your actual work or, it's, you know, like I said before, you could be um, finished the project this week and then you're congratulating yourself that you stuck it out. Um, so congratulations. Thank you. A job well done. That type of energy is surrounding you this week. Then we have the lovers. Okay, so you got the major arcana of the lovers here, or as well as the strength card. So when the strength, I'm sorry, when the lovers is in your spread, there's nothing really for you to worry about when it comes to the exchanges of dealing with other people this week. Because this is a, um, I always say it's an even level playing field because you're always equal. You're seeing eye to eye with one another, being on the same page with one another. The lovers can uh, bring in the formation of not only romantic partners, but it could also bring business partnerships together as well as uh, platonic friendships. So yes, spending that quality time with all of the above romantic partners. Okay. It could be platonic friends or it could be, you know, coworkers, whatever, whatever the situation is, you're part of this energy. It represents Gemini, but you have the lovers in your spread on top of that lovers here for you. Uh, Libra, we have the, Oh, now you have the tower. Okay, so there, with this energy here, could be some sort of disruption going on with particular relationships in general. Um, since it's uncontrollable, there's no need for you to think that you're going to control it because you can't. It still may be uh, presence. Now, you're the second sign that has received the tower, so that could be almost involving um, extra energy or double strength or whatever is going to uh, or about to take place, you know, next week. Now, that could be involving earthquakes or weather. Right now, anything involving politics, anything uh, could be taking place. I feel like a partnership here, because it sits on the lovers, may split, may separate, okay? Hmm, interesting. All right, so that is the tower. Now, keep in mind, too, that the tower, as well as the lover, lovers will take down the energies, of the uh, presence of this tower. It could be a uh, disruption going on in a business partnership or a business in general. Not that you may be involved in that business, but you may hear about something going on. Maybe, you know, um, when people merge business wise, sometimes they, <coughs> they break apart or whatever uh, and consolidate or, for whatever reason. So you might hear that in the news as well. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles. See, the money is still good. All right. So this is the card that represents one of the big money cards that represents uh, abundance. The Nine of Pentacles is always trying to achieve some sort of financial independence or you already are, but it's also too a big money card. Ten of Pentacles here. Now you have an equal number of uh, Pentacles. So what you give is what you're going to get back. This still could be promotion, substantial pay raises, substantial bonus money. Um, it could be for those Libras who are, you know, single and independent and you're taking care of all your needs and wants. For those Libras who are in partnerships, you're equally taking care of each other's needs and wants. Um, if you're the risk-taking Libra and you like to go to uh, the casinos, play the lotteries, play responsibly because, I, again, this is big money that could be coming in. From that, you know, from that route. Then we have the Fool, Major Arcana of the Fool. Fool is um, actually going to take down some of the energy of the tower. So this is about new beginnings here, um, uh, Libra. 
you know, dropping the fear, take that leap of faith and step out into the unknown and allow the universe to support you. If you have something planned that you want to do, but you were a little bit hesitant about doing so, just let it go and just move forward. OK, for anyone who doesn't have anything lined up or planned in terms of a new beginning, there's always an aspect of that something new happening or occurring for you. Then we have the Ten of Wands, so you're going to be busy. And before I talk about that Ten of Wands, I want to throw in there, too, that some of you may be just seeking something completely different or, if, you know, it's riddled with fun or excitement. That's the fool. Ten of Wands having to carry out or being given the energy to help you carry out anything that's planned for you this week, uh, Libra, whether it's scheduled or not. Okay? Busy B. And that could be uh, involving work-related matters, things, you know, doing things for yourself, doing things for your family, friends. Then we have the major arcana, the death card. Okay, so the death card is all about endings, right? So, um, and new beginnings. It's always involving life transformation, but whatever this death card means for you, something's about to come to an end in a major way. And whatever comes to an end, there's a replacement of um, energy, positive energy. Now, of course, it could be just you getting rid of stuff, too, on a material uh, level. Things that, you know, built up and is now cluttered or cluttering. Having to get rid of stuff that is no longer useful for you. That could be the ending there. After the death card here for you, Libra, we have the High Priestess. Okay, so again, you're getting all these major arcanas here uh, for this week's energy. So someone still could be keeping secrets. You keeping secrets. Uh, opposites attract. Um, again, pay attention to your intuition. Um, inner voices that you may hear. Gut feelings. You have, always have to go with that because those are your your personal guides trying to grab your attention so that you're making the best choices and decisions moving forward. But because she sits there and she's holding the book, she's got something on someone or someone has got something on you. On top of the high priestess here, we have the temperance card, another major arcana that's going to squash the energy of the tower because that's restoring peace, rebalancing energies for you. It also, too, is a relationship card. And then I read the temperance card as, you know, Mother Nature. Only two cards that I read is Mother Nature, and that would be the temperance card as well as the Empress card. So some of you may be just, you know, wanting to spend some time outdoors, enjoying Mother Nature and God's beauty, and there's nothing wrong with that. The temperance comes in also to to acknowledge the fact that, you know, you're loving yourself, loving others. You're you know what your worth is, your value. Um, you're at peace with yourself. You're at peace with others. A very calming, soothing type of energy for some Libras this week. Last card I have for you, Libra, is the six of swords. This is your energy again. So. Some sort of stressful energy that may be moving away from you. It mirrors over here to the Ten of Pentacles. Whenever I read the Six of Swords, someone could be seriously considering moving, purchasing a home, relocating to a different area. Uh, if you are traveling, like I had indicated before, uh, maybe I haven't because you don't have any other traveling cards. If you are traveling this week here, you're safe to and from, whether it's work-related or vacationing. All right, so this is what I have for you, Libra. Uh, remember, this is Soul from Intuitive Tarot, just giving you my best impressions as to what I feel the potential uh, could be for you this week. Take what's going to work for you, leave the rest alone. The Ten of Pentacles over here cross mirrors to the Tarot, so that could be a shakeup in a business or could be indicating that there's some sort of, uh, not necessarily a crash involving our markets, but the markets may uh, be adjusted, um, lowered in some fashion. Anyway, with the tower's uh, placement here in your uh, spread, I always throw in that extra word of caution, Libra. Uh, enjoy the holidays. Be safe. Um, yeah. Like the video. Share the video. Subscribe to my channel. Throw those comments in. Come back and get more of these uh, messages from me. But come back smiling, Libra, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.